Oh, ayan po. Yes, oh, oh. thank you, Sir Nash. Now, uh, from oil, no, tapos tayo sa oil, definitely ang katampal ng magandang langis ay siyempre gasolina din. No? Sa Yon. secret sa sakyan, dalawa yan, yung magandang langis at gasolina. No? So, from oil, puntahan naman natin kung paano tayo makakapagpaganda ng ating gasolina, mano tayo makakatipid. Kaya at this point, no, let's go now to our next resource person. No, to discuss with us Eco Power Fuel Saver and Fuel and Tablets. Palapang po natin, Ma'am Luis Kapoor. Hi, Ma'am Luis. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, po ba? So, yes. maraming salamat again, Sir John and as uh, C Management for giving me this opportunity to recap yung ating product. No, um, it has been introduced last, uh, I think, February. So, naabuta lang tayo ng lockdown in the middle of it. Pero, ito po ay na introduce na, but it's really nice to re restart again and rehash kung ano yung meron tayo and how beneficial our product is. No, how good it could be to market it para sa atin as well as yung sa mga clients natin. Um, Sir John, may share po yung screen? Hello? Right, ma'am, go ahead. Sige, ma'am. Ah, okay. Ma Sige, sorry. Uh, na, na, I think na tenga konti si Sir John. Okay. Uh, let Ayan. me just take this off. Yeah, the audience, audience. Okay, ma'am. Okay na. Ayan, Ayan. Yeah. Ultra audience. Yeah. Okay. So, um, one of the first questions, and actually, I got that from the last, you know, the last uh, presentation we did, na dung dalawa kami ni Sir Nash and ako. The first question is, uh, ano ba yung difference ng sa yung sa product ni Sir Nash at yung sa atin, which is the Eco Power Fuel Conditioning Tablets, no? Again, like Sir Nash said, uh, yung product na protect, uh, protect product is really for the engine oil. Walang eco power fuel conditioning tablets and liquids um, no? uh, would be for the gasolina. Now, parang ganito lang yan, no? kasi tayo, um, usually ang products na dinadala natin ay yung, uh, yung sa nutrition na products, sa mga um, nutrition na products natin. Uh, katulad na yan ng isang body ng tao. Uh, yung diniscuss na product ni Sir Nash ay yung, let's say, yung circulatory system, which is yung blood, especially yung blood and blood vessels, kanya, no? The blood goes around the body to make sure that it provides the body with uh, enough na oxygenation and then it takes out yung mga toxins, yung mga sabi nga ni Sir Nash, yung mga metals na uh, when, you know, when, when metals... Um, um, pag nag nag uh, nagagrind din yung metal sa loob ng ating ng uh, uh, engine maraming mga mga uh, should we say sediments no and yung oil na yan yung engine oil siya yung palibot ng palibot sa engine at sa mga um, mga valves diyan mga tubes diyan sa car para itanggalin yung mga mga should we say, mga uh, sediments na mga ganyan. No? So that yung car mo magiging efficient and magiging uh, less ang maintenance. No? Yung, uh, yung sa atin naman, yung sa fuel, ay eh, ikakatulad natin yon sa pagkain. No? So iba yung sa dugo, we, we make sure na we have a very, uh, very good circulatory system, healthy yung blood natin, so that the blood can function effectively. It goes around and around the body. Uh, yung sa fuel naman, yun yung kinakain natin na pagkain. So that every day, and yun yung siguro yung kagandahan dyan because the keyword is every day, almost every day, we use yung fuel or yung pagkain para mag-provide sa atin ng energy so that the car can actually move. No? So again, oil, uh, oil, uh, uh, oil uh, engine uh, products are different from the fuel conditioning products, which is yung para sa pagkain. Now, uh, pagkain or pagkain para sa kotse in this case. No? Now, um, we'll talk more about the benefits of the eco, uh, eco power fuel conditioning tablets later. But on the whole, when it comes to uh, fuel conditioning, ano pa talaga yung tinatalakay nating problema? The very important thing there is the process of combustion. Parang sa pagkain din natin, pag kumakain tayo, dinadigest natin yung pagkain, uh, that's the fuel, we digest yung, uh, yung food, and then we turn that into energy so that we can move. As people, no? our, bodies, our bodies can move. Ganon din po sa kotse, we, um, 
nagtatank up tayo, nagagas up tayo ng either diesel or gasoline. And then that is turned into energy. The car can ultimately move and, uh, you know, go from one place to the next. That process that enables it is actually called combustion. Katulad din yan ng yung sa yung dati, kung naalala nyo pa sa mga medyo may edad na, yung mga lampara, no? So that combustion is yung pagsusunog. We put some fuel or oil or in this case actually kerosene before sa isang uh, lampara which is halintulad ng isang engine and then we burn uh, we uh, ignite it with fire and then it becomes light no so that burning process is combustion and it's very important because it's the heart of how cars turn fuel into energy and then into movement ang question lang jan is how efficient and effective is that combustion process at yung combustion process na yan it happens within the engine how effective is that is that process ba usually the si engine which we could see here sa left hand side uh, ito no makikita natin may air tapos inahalo yan yung hangin dito po sa tinatawag na combustion chamber hinahalo yung hangin at yung gasolina no tapos meron tayong in many cases merong spark plug parang siya yung uh, siya yung match na sinisindihan and then may explosion diyan or pagsusunog na nangyayari sa combustion chamber that combustion or that yung pag uh, that um, explosion enables the movement of the car and whatever is not nasusunog yung mga waste products lumalabas diyan yan via the exhaust valve yan kung bakit meron tayong uh, pollution nakikita natin sa tambucho ng car mga maitim-itim na usok yan ay waste product ng combustion process so really sa car when we when we talk about fuel efficiency uh, ang pinakaimportanting question is how efficient or effective is that combustion process no? um, of course it helps kung maganda yung ating engine in the first place especially kung bago pero ngayon sa kanina ni Sir Nash in many cases yung tayo mga Pilipino mahilig sa mga mga old na cars no uh, tig 50, 50 15 years or tig ilang years pa yung mga kotse natin uh, and uh, that's okay uh, that's one part no maganda pa ba yung engine natin para mag ano niyan magsunog but at the same time equally important yung pagkain ng kotse natin is that fuel a good quality fuel Makikita nga natin no, pag pumupunta tayo sa gasolinahan, marami tayong choices palagi. Merong regular, may special, may V-power, may high octane, or whatever kinds of fuel. And of course, if it is a better fuel, usually we end up paying much more. Right? So there is, meron ta, may, merong gradations sa fuel quality. And if we get, if we have low fuel quality, ang mangyayari ay number one incomplete ang combustion hindi maganda ang pagkasunog ng gasolina kung hindi maganda ang pagkasunog ng gasolina wasted po yan and there is where loss of econo economy comes from no? sayang ang gasolina second maliban sa sayang na ngayong gasolina marami pang mga tinatawag natin carbon deposits yung itim na yan nabubuo-buo yan sa loob eh. Nag-accumulate yan. Nagiging carbon deposits. No? Siyempre, kung marami dyang sediments and carbon deposits na nag-accumulate sa loob, nagkaklag yung mga valves at yung mga tubo-tubo dyan sa loob ng ating kotse. Kung nagkaklogging yan dyan, nagkaklog-klog dyan, nagkakaroon tayo ng loss of power at katulad din ng sinabi ni Sir Nash, uh, kung maraming mga um, sediments na nabuo-buo, maraming friction. Hindi ganun kamadulas ang pag-move ng mga metals uh, amongst themselves. So nagkakaroon ng friction na umiinit masyado yung yung uh, makinarya natin, no? And if kung merong friction, tumataas um, tumataas din yung wear and tear sa ating makina. Of course, kung tumataas ang wear and tear, nag nagkakaroon tayo ng taas na maintenance. And kung mataas na maintenance, shorter ang equipment life natin, no? Uh, like we mentioned again, Fuel is like food for the car. If we have bad quali quality fuel, just like if we have bad quality food, nagiging, mag, uh, nagiging mababa po ang 
kwalidad ng ating kotse, uh, uh, tapos nagkakaroon din ng ma main more maintenance. Katulad din sa katawan ng isang tao, pag, pag hindi malinis, pag pangit yung quality ng ating food, um, wala tayong power, wala tayong energy, as well as nagkakaroon ng mga, what they call this thing, mga maraming sakit-sakit, no? diabetes, cholesterol, etc. Ganon din po yan sa car. No? So fuel quality is key. Can you imagine po, uh, every time, Every time we, um, you know, we use one liter of fuel, nag, nag, uh, ano po tayo, nag contribute po tayo ng around 2.3 to 2.7 kilograms of, of side. Uh, we actually generate it, no? And imagine yung black na black na yan, na smoke na yan, not all of them go out into the atmosphere. Quite a lot of them also stays inside the car. At yung mga black na yan, 2.3, can you imagine? Parang dust na yan, no? Uh, 2.3 kilograms of it. Andyan yan sa loob ng ating kotse. At sa mga valves at sa mga tubo-tubo dyan. And when they accumulate over a period of time, it really means, uh, it, it results sa pagkasira ng ating mga equipment, ng ating engine at as well as yung ating um, kotse. No? Apart from that, of course, pollution yan sa environment. So double whammy, no? So ito po yung mga mga nagiging uh, examples ng problema na nakikita usually no uh, sa isang kotse yung carbon deposits ito po yung mga nag-accumulate na over time na mga uh, pollution diyan sa loob ng kotse no So sludge tapos of course mga increase ng maintenance natin no? That's why kat uh, katulad din ng paglilinis or pagkukondisyon ng engine oil, meron din po tayong pangkondisyon ng fuel. Papagandahin natin ang quality ng food na kinakain ng car. No? Yung fuel na uh, ginagas up natin sa car. Kasi hindi natin alam eh kung saan yung fuel na niya nanggagaling. Katulad sa amin dito no sa Mindanao, kung kung, sa, kung minsan saan-saan na kami napupunta, Uh, uh, liblib na puok, wala namang mga shell or ano, wala namang shell or petron everywhere. So we end up having to gas up sa mga maliliit-liit na mga establish establishments. And you don't really know kung anong klaseng fuel. Sabi-sabi nga nila, kung minsan, hinahaluan pa ng tubig. No? Uh, especially kung hindi pa, hindi masyadong ma 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 mabilis yung pagka-turnover ng kanilang fuel. So nakatenga lang yan sa tanke, eh, nagkakaroon niya ng mga contamination ang fuel na yan. So paano ba, ano ba yung pwede natin magawa para naman uh, mapaganda ang quality ng fuel? Ito po yung, ans uh, ang, yung ating sagot, yung Eco Power Fuel Conditioning Tablets. Now, meron po tayong tatlong variant sa product na ito. Ito po yung gold, silver, and nano. Yung gold, and we're really talking of Like isang tableta, katulad po siya, ang itsura niya, nakikita po natin dito, ay parang, let's say, biogesic. Ganun lang po siya kalaki. No? Yung gold, isang tableta na biogesic kalaki, that is mga around 500 milligrams. No? That's something na nilalagay mo lang po, hinuhulog mo lang po sa fuel tank during refueling. No? Hinuhulog lang po sa fuel, uh, sa fuel tank. So gold is for 40 liters, which is the usual for a full tank ng isang dan. For SUVs, um, normally, it 80, 80 liters man yung kanilang ano, yung fuel capacity, yung fuel, ang full tank. So that would be equivalent to two tablets for a full tank of an SUV. Yung silver naman is one tablet para sa 20 liters. At especially sa mga motor, ang, pinapa, ang nire-recommend natin ay yung nano which is one tablet for 10 liters. Although kung minsan, ang ginaga ang gina Uh, hinahati pa nila yung nano na yan kasi yung sa mga motor naman, may mga motor, tigpa 5 liters lang yung, yung ginagas up. No? Ang kagandahan sa ating product is that it is in tablet form. Napakadali niya pong gamitin, napakadali niya pong bitbitin. Another thing na kagandahan sa ating product is that it works with all types of fuel. It could be gasoline, it could be diesel, even kerosene. Uh, it, it just works with all of these different types, no? Now, um, it's used for right now dito sa Pilipinas because we just introduced it last January, uh, February. Most of the users that we have by far dito are yung mga uh, transportation type. 
cars, motorbikes, a little bit, a few bit na, a few bits na may trucks tayo, may mga trucking clients tayo. But it could be used also for generators, yung sa mga farms, for example, may mga bo, mga pumps yan sila. Pwedeng pwede doon, uh, even for ships, buses, and even for boats. No? Uh, some few salient points about our product. Internationally tested po and certified tayo, as you can see with all those testing institutions na nag-test na po ng product natin. Now, we'll go to the benefit naman. Ano ba talaga yung beneficyo ng ating product na, na ibibigay sa mga, sa mga users natin? Number one, at ito siguro yung pinaka-popular, fuel savings talaga. 15 to 30%, even more at times. Especially kung medyo malayo, um, long-distance driving at walang masyadong traffic, uh, mas mata mataas po talaga ang savings na potential uh, by using the product. No? Apart from that, 50% emissions reduction and maintenance reduction as per international test. Anyway, yun yung nakita natin. Um, of course, when you, when you um, over a period of time sa paggagamit ng product, na po-protection na din po natin yung engine. Naalala nyo po yung mga pollutants kanina na pinakita ko, yung sa dark na smoke, smoke na yun, yung mga carbon, carbon deposits. Maiiwasan po yun. And if maiiwasan po yun, magiging maganda po yung engine natin, magiging malinis po siya, may extend po natin yung kanyang life. No? Uh, also, a little bit about the product, it has a bit, uh, it contains a bit of satin and octane. So, kaya sa mga gumagamit ng product natin, kung minsan mafe-feel nila, lumalakas yung hatak. Kasi meron po siyang mga halo. There's also a little bit of anti-pollution na mga um, uh, components dyan at lubricant. So that kung meron mang mga dumidubi na dyan na nag-accumulate sa ating engine over a period of time, yan po ay malilinis over, uh, over, over time as well. One thing about the product also is that it has the ability to remove water and bacteria from the from the fuel. Yan po isa kasi sa mga usual na tagadin yung pangamba natin, no? As drivers, baka naman yung gasolina, especially sa mga maliliit-liit na mga um, gas stations, baka naman hinaluan nila ng water, no? And uh, yes, over a period of time, mawawa, ma, ma, mapapalabas po yung tubig from the fuel by using our product. And again, let me just emphasize how easy it is to use the product. Just one tablet, drop into the fuel tank during refueling. Yun lang po, yung uh, only na instruction sa, other, sa ating product. Now, um, one of the things that uh, usually they ask is that, has the fuel conditioning products been around for, you know, is it a new product? Actually, no. Uh, fuel conditioning um, na products have been around for a number of decades, a few decades na actually. Uh, but before, ang mga gumagamit were mostly yung mga big clients, institutional clients, yung sa mga, for example, uh, minahan, yung sa mga, uh, what do you call this thing, yung mga factories. Uh, even yung sa mga large na mga, should we say, na mga bus uh, bus, should we say bus companies. Uh, I remember one time dito sa Mindanao, I, I tried to approach yung one of the operators sa isang pinaka, isa, isa sa mga pinakamalaking uh, bus operators. No? And they told me that no, they could not uh, they could not entertain the product right now, yung ating Eco Power, just because they have their own uh, chemist already nagditimpla sa kanilang mga fuel. And if you will notice, wala kang makikita ang mga bus, yung sa mga bus companies, na nagpapagasolina sa normal, sa Petron or Shell Station anywhere. They have their own depot. Meron silang parang gasolinahan sa kanilang, um, sa kanilang, ano, uh, meron silang sariling gasolinahan at kung saan nilalagyan na nila ng mga conditioners. But of course, very specially formulated yung mga fuel conditioners na yun sa kanilang mga needs. Thankfully, now, meron tayong products. Uh, siguro, you know, technology tends to improve over time. Meron tayong product na nagiging accessible na sa mga tao. And that is hopefully in the form of our EcoPower Fuel Conditioning Tablets. So this picture, I like this picture a lot because sa mga nanini, hindi naniniwala that such products could be helpful as well as very affordable, uh, pwede natin sabihin na, look, 
technology tends to change over time. Who knew before, even for mobile phones, that you know um, they could get smaller and yet so much more powerful. Yeah. So I'm I'm not going to go much uh, into details, uh, but I will uh, no, I will give a little bit sa mga tests and certifications. Um, uh, again, just like yung sa kanina ni Sir Nash, uh, we've also been tested. We have also been tested by Caterpillar, right? Because that's probably the gold standard when it comes to heavy equipment. Uh, uh, we've also been tested by a company called Detroit, and Detroit is actually ang product nila are actually engines, re uh, engine yung products nila, and they are owned by Daimler uh, AG, which is a German company, and which is the same company that makes Mercedes Benz. You know? We've been also tested by Southwest Research Institute. Uh, by the way, when you say testing, it's not like, you know, uh, it's a very rigid process, very um, strict process. And they have a fuel eval, uh, they have a, a standard for testing. You no, know? in this case, for example, it's a standard called J1321 testing. So it's quite technical. Pero at least malala, uh, ma magiging comforted tayo with the thought na yung ating product ay hindi lang tinesting ng mga ordinary, ordina in ordinary situations, but rather in a very stringent way by very renowned testing bodies, international testing bodies. Again, this is another test done by the um, Society of Automotive Engineers, SAE. They did the same fuel efficiency test using our product. Um, when it comes naman sa lubricity or yung pagkakadulas ng product natin, that has been tested by none less than SGS, which is probably the biggest or the most you know, advanced na, uh, inspection and verification company globally. Um, I will skip this slide. Uh, another testing when it comes specifically to emissions or the ability to reduce yung pollution na ini-emit ng isang kotse. Uh, that's a testing done by Battelle. And you could see there that even sa bagong equipment, it's a new equipment, so it's supposedly very efficient in, in combusting, no? in combusting fuel into energy. Makikita natin na uh, even with the new equipment, napakataas na 43% emissions reduction pa rin ang makikita. Um, sorry, I'm, I'm just keeping through some slides. But um, a lot of the a lot of the examples I have given were basically nasa transport. Ngayon hindi lang po transportation yung pwede nating um, lapitan. Pwede din po natin lapitan yung mga planta, mga manufacturing facilities like this one sa mga planta sa planta ng Pepsi. No, it has a lot. Uh, our product has the ability to reduce yung pollution and. Uh, Sorry, I'll just skip this slide. Even yung sa mga offshore drilling, no? Na, na, nagagamit yung product natin. So kung may mga questions sila normally na pwede ba to sa mga sa itong engine na ito or itong maliit na engine na to? Look, if our product could be used for big in engines like this na parang yung size ay isang kwarto, yes, it can be used for smaller engines definitely. Huh? Um, so the, we have a lot of cases then where you know our products were used in industry and uh, institutional type of clients, no? so mining, uh, uh, coal treatment, ganyan. Dito especially sa Mindanao and even sa north ng Luzon, marami pong mga mining companies. Ang usual, nili, usual na ginagamit nila ng mga equipment are yung mga uh, malalaking traktora, bulldozers, ganyan. No? Uh, yun po. Candidate po talaga sila sa ating product. We could, our products could be used on those kind of equipment. Uh, um, again, sa shipping industry, pwede din po. Uh, like mentioned kanina, pag maka-close ka lang ng isang shipping industry, uh, ng isang shipping client siguro, hayahay na rin yung buhay mo. Kasi yes, grabe po sila gumamit ng fuel and recurring po. Every time they travel, meron pong fuel na ginagamit. No? Uh, uh, so these are just some few cases, no? Sa U.S. Air Force, ginagamit din po nila, especially to reduce yung emissions. Um, at marami pa pong iba. Uh, dito po sa Portland, Oregon, uh, for their bus lines as well as yung sa mga rail uh, lines nila. Uh, dito sa Pilipinas, wala pa tayong masyadong ano, mga reference cases na local. And that's quite, um, you know, understandable because 
choose pa lang natin last February. Uh, hopefully po, magkaka-accumulate magkaka tayo ng mga reference cases dito dito sa Pilipinas. No? Again, uh, just to summarize, ito po yung product natin, Eco Power Fuel Conditioning Tablets. Uh, as of the moment, it's gonna be used for cars, motorbikes, vans, jeepneys, trucks. No? Those kinds of transportation. Later, pag, pag mag approach po tayo sa mga clients na nasa planta, um, shipping or whatever yung mga bigger type of clients, most of the time we'll probably use yung mga liquid variants of the product. <clears throat> and we will we will need some help from technical help from the from the manufacturer and last week when marty yung inventor natin and formulator for the product when he came over and um guested sa ating ano sa ating discussion he did mention that he is very much willing to you know to lend technical support yung mga scientists nila pwede pong pumunta sa mga big clients na yon for as long as we can we can ver uh, validate na yung clients na yon are serious na clients uh, and uh, just one thing, though, the products are designed to be very, very affordable. For example, for every gold tablet, gold tablet natin, which is one tablet per 40 liters of fuel, its retail is only 65 pesos. So it is very, very um, affordable. Po. Uh? Um, now, how large is the, mark, uh, is the market? Dito po sa Pilipinas, estimated ng LTO na merong 26 million vehicles. Hanapin lang po natin sila. Isa pa lang yan, ha? vehicles pa lang yan. Wala pa. We're not talking of industries but vehicles. 26 million, hanapin po natin sila. Kagandahan po sa ating product is that, uh, uh, sa, sa ating target market is that, hindi po ito ginagamit every day. No? In fact, sa Pilipinas, ang estimate dito is that 30 million liters of fuel, either diesel or gasoline, ang ginagamit ng mga Pilipino everyday po. Hahanapin lang po natin yan yung 30 million. O kung wala tayong mahanap na 1 liter today, sige, tomorrow may 30 million tayong pwedeng mahanap na market. No? Uh, and let me just emphasize advantages ng product natin. Uh, so, uh, number one, the product is very easy and hassle-free to use. Again, drop in the fuel tank. Yun lang po yung gagawin natin. This product can also be used for all fuel types, diesel, gasoline, kerosene. In many cases, ngayon sa market, makikita natin, no? uh, yung mga fuel conditioner products, ano lang sila, either gasoline, diesel, or kerosene, uh, either diesel or gasoline lang. Hindi yung universal type. Ours can, is, is universal. Uh, the other thing about our product is that it's very small and concentrated. So it's very convenient to carry, you know, carry around. Um, the results are very fast and very, very important also for end users, non-flammable yung product. So yes, pwede mo nga maiwan sa kotse ang product. Walang problema. No? A few things about uh, yung advantages naman when it, when it comes to marketing. Like I mentioned, it's a huge, huge market. Every day, 30 million liters ang ginagamit. It's a very unique product. It's very, uh, I think at the moment, isa lang yung siya sa Pilipinas na in tablet form. Uh, it's also very affordable and very easy to convince people to try kasi napaka-affordable niya in the first place. Uh, there is no long trial or demo period. You use it, you see the results very, very fast. And of course, it's a repeat business because it's consumable. Uh, and you have a lot of clients. You have variety of clients na pwedeng ma-approach engineers contractors para sa mga heavy uh, machinery and heavy um, equipment type na mga ano mga, na mga uh, should we say vehicles transportation associations and groups construction and mining companies mga couriers logistics even offices kasi marami sila mga office cars din no, na ginagamit lgus yung sa motor pools so with that, um, I'd like to just leave you with this one slide. This is probably yung pinaka summary slide. Uh, it captures everything about the product. And I hope po na with this product, uh, matutulungan po natin yung environment to lessen yung pollution. Matutulungan po natin yung mga, mga users natin na mapababa ang konsumo at yung paggasto sa kanilang gasolina. Uh, which is an everyday expense. And finally, matutulungan po natin yung mga sarili natin. Kasi with this product na madaling maibenta, 
na repeat business, I hope po na magiging uh, very, should we say, very feasible siya na source of income para sa ating mga distributors. So, yun lang po. Salamat po for your time again. Okay, so thank you very much, Ma'am Luis. So let's uh, give Ma'am Luis a digital clap po. Ayan po. No, Sir Ferns. Ayan. Yeah. Ayun, yung digital clap natin. <laughs> Oo, nahuli lang si clap. <laughs> no, pero ang um, maganda po dito, no, narinig na po natin. And um, I think a lot of us already have tried no, yung Echo Power Tablets. Mm-hmm. and are already seeing the benefits no hindi lang sa tipid uh, kundi pati yung performance nila sa sakyan no uh, kahit na uh, isa lang beses mong sinubukan eh yun mararamdaman mo ta- kaagad sabi nga ni Ma'am Luis no and that's the beauty of the product no so yun um tama bibihira nagtatanong dito ngayon kasi karamihan gumagamit na eh but ang maganda oh, oh. po dito ang maganda po dito both the products are already available dito sa ating classic world di ba yeah. so medyo sa panahon ngayon ako excited na excited gusto siguro lumabas ka agad ang mga tao share the product pero ako I will still advise everybody No, to please use Classic World. Kaya nga meron tayong website. Kaya let's push our e-commerce. No, in that way we can stay safe. No, we can stay safe muna. Ang uh, maganda doon, i-deliver naman sa kanilang bahay mismo ang kanilang Port produkto. Iyon ang kagandahan. So it uh, gives us a lot of uh, leeway ngayon, no? no? And um masasabi nga natin itong post, itong uh, share na to sa Uh, Classic World TV. Sigurado aani ng napakadaming views na naman ito. So be prepared na uh, madaming mag inquire at magtatanong sa inyo. no? Kaya exciting itong mga susunod na araw para sa Echo Power and sa ating Oil Enhancer. Ayan po. No? Ayun, siguro uh, Sir John, i-add na lang natin dun sa last part niyan is kasi may nakita tayong uh, silver, gold, and yung nano. Mhm. Diba? yung uh, usage nito ah. baka makapagbigay doon si Ma'am Luis sa ah, yung per tablet niya ah, nakita mm-hmm. natin. Mm-hmm. Yes. Ano ba yun, Ma'am? Yung uh, may silver yeah. nano and uh, gold tayo. Ah, okay. So, kasi yung... ba, 40 liters mo. Oh. So actually yung products natin no, all of them so a gold silver nano, they are the same yung when it comes to the content, exactly similar. Nagkaka nagkaka different lang sila um, sa size. No, ma- ang uh, ang gold ay malaking tableta kasi mm-hmm. pwede po siya uh, up to 40 liters ng fuel. Ititreat niya or i-condition niya ang 40 liters ng fuel. Uh, ang silver naman, mas ma- uh, half siya ng size ng gold, uh, yan po ay para sa 20 liters. Parang kung sa sedan pa, um, half a tank kasi hindi naman palagi tayo nagpapa-full tank, di ba? Yes, no? yes, uh, yes. Tapos kung para mas mat, mas matipid pa at mas madali pang gamitin, meron tayo yung nano, which is mm-hmm. again one fourth ng size ng gold, and that is for 10 liters. Especially sa mga motor mas mas ganahan silang ano bumili ng nano yung maliit, kasi pwede pa nilang ihati ihatiin pagkatapos konting konti lang talaga yung nilalagay sa kanilang sa kanilang uh, fuel tank. yun no so, so ayun, parang ah. so okay lang ma'am batipid. in case na yung uh, oo yung sa motor kasi di ba mga 3 to 5 liters yan yung mm-hmm. capacity so okay lang ba kung malagay daw yung 10 liters na nano natin walang problema oh. uh, wala namang problema kung ma- masobrahan pero oh. syempre sasayang lang kaya tayo may recommended usage tayo kasi masasayang eh no mm-hmm. yeah Meron, meron dati yung isa yata gumamit, uh, nilagyan niyo yung kanyang motor ng 40 liters na uh, ay yung, uh, yung motor niya is I think 8 liters or 5 liters lang. Nilagyan niya ng gold pang 40 liters. So sabi niya, ang layo-layo na ng ginamit ko, hindi pa naubos. No? Kasi mm. naman pala gold yung ginamit. Pero mm. as you can see, wala pong problema. Yes. And there's no uh, no sediments dito, no? Luis, okay. no? Hindi po. Sa inside po ng engine, um, matutunaw po yan siya, sila lahat. Uh, with the temperature, with the, with the movement, mm-hmm. uh, matutunaw po yan silang lahat. 
Yes, yun ang maganda po doon. Actually, we tried to test it also. No? So, maganda din, maganda din. Ha? Talagang nakakatipid yon. Don't worry if you put a little extra, mas maganda po yon kesa kulang, di ba? Tapos, mm. <laughs> actually, kahit kulang, may konting epekto pa rin. Eh, pero, mm. mas nakita ko lasting pag, mata- pag gumamit tayo ng a little more. No? Mm. So, yun. So, nano is uh, good for about 10 liters. No, then you have the silver which is for 20 liters, ma'am, no? And then you have the gold for 40 liters, no? Yeah. So, yun po, no? And I'm sure na everybody will be st- will start using the product. Uh, lalo na kung meron kayong sasakyan. Kung wala kayong sasakyan, um, wag kayong magpagas, no? Mahirap po 'yon, ano? Okay. <laughs> Saka wag kayo magpa-change oil, no? Para lang bumili, no? But anyway, start recommending the products, yes. no? Start using the products. No, especially sa mga loved ones natin para makatipid po tayo no uh, lalong lalo na sa panahon to no so yun po maraming maraming salamat maraming, sa ating maraming. mga speakers for today resource persons thank you sir Nash ma'am Luis maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo lahat sir Ferds it's uh it's uh, independence day today happy independence day po yes. sa buong happy pilipinas